Next up on stories around the campfire. Anyone. But I'm gonna give it to you straight about Jason. Let's take a look at the stylish trailer coming out on Arrow Video March 1st. Hi. Right this way. So, what's the plan? I wish my hair would do that. But we all want what we don't have. I guess we all want what we don't have. This is amazing. Can't wait to see this with the dress. Oh, neither can I. <laughs> so, how's the wedding madness? Getting married turns you into such a narcissist. Yeah. <laughs> I am actually nervous. Yeah. It's gonna be great. I love you. Tell me about you, Claire. I do hair. You get to go in and out of people's lives. You hear stories. The hair stylist. She's creepy. Doesn't Lynn actually know her? You give life advice. I guess we all want what we don't have. It's almost like having a family. Are you okay? Stupid! What are you doing? Colonel, let's get your thoughts on this one first. The stylist. Okay, first, I think she did a hell of a fucking job. I don't look homeless anymore, so thank you. Uh, I had to take the hat off, show it off. She did a great job. I'm getting a little bit of vibes, like May-type vibes. Uh, and I'm not talking about the month. I'm talking about the movie May. Uh, I know it's not the most popular movie, so people might not know what I'm talking about. I'm kind of digging this streak of you know, women leading all these horror movies. It's a nice change. Woman looks insane. I'm, I'm interested. I want to see where this goes. I mean, other than, you know, scalping somebody and wearing their scalp, you know, watching the blood drip down on the left. That was pretty cool. Mm -hmm. I just, I'm curious how this plays out. I don't know. It's okay. She wants to get married, I guess. I don't know. Let's see what happens. You think every redhead is insane, though. I'm. They, more, oh, they don't have fucking souls. I'm more attracted to that. I don't know why, but that's just me. I'm a, I'm a redhead fan. I'll tell you what, there have been zero trailers that Arrow Video has put out that make me even consider subscribing to their service. I normally just wait until I can find it somewhere else if it's even that kind of movie that I want to watch. This one might get me. This one really might get me. I'm considering subscribing just to see this and maybe just do a free trial or whatever. I like the idea of this film because I've been fascinated by the trust that people put into hairstylists for years, and I've never understood why this has not been explored more uh, as a horror movie trope. Obviously, we've got, you know, the, the classic, you know, Sweeney Todd, the demon barber of Fleet Street. It's not often looked at as a potential horror thriller. Ziggy, what do you think about the trailer? Thunder stealing bastard. I was just going to say, we have Sweeney Todd here without the music, and that is cool. We have what looks like to be possibly Maniac with a female uh, antagonist, which I like that as well. She looks fucking nuts in this. Very deranged. This looks like it could be a skin crawler, and I'm into it. Fuck, that trailer looks better than, you know, got me excited than, than this last two we just watched. So hopefully this is holds up, because I need some fucking blood and guts after that. This one seems dark, twisted, with just the right touch of femininity in it, you know? And I appreciate the fact that Colonel brought that up. You know, it, it is nice to see women-led, women-directed, women-written horror films kind of brought more to light now. And this one, it almost appears to be an entire female cast. I mean, I didn't see a single guy in the trailer. I think it might be a solid flick based on the trailer. I know trailers are deceiving, but this film is based on a short film that was done a couple of years ago that is available out there. And I think, you know, just for homework, that would be something we should all watch. Would you be interested in checking out the short? 
Yeah, well, of course. I mean, if we can give me a little bit of backstory into the movie I'm going to see, or at least set me up for it, well, by all means, why not? Yeah, absolutely. Um, my hope is that it's not like uh, Lights Out was, where that short is absolutely diabolically fantastic, and then the movie, not so much. They stretched it out into an hour and a half. Oh, and you know what? That, there's a reason why this movie was only seven minutes when it came out right. the short. You know, So this 14-minute one, definitely want to check it out. I'm sure it's going to be a key scene or two from what we're going to see, but um, hey, man, this is how they got it funded. Yeah, I'm interested for sure. Coming out March 1st on Aero Video exclusively, The Stylist, and, but you can check out the short that's on, I believe it's on YouTube. Maybe we'll throw a link down here in the description. You can check it out that way. And as an added bonus, later on this week, whenever the uh, movie comes out, we're going to review it. So stay tuned to another Stories Around the Campfire later on where we do a review on The Stylist. Ooh, nice. I know. We're getting better at this shit, aren't we? We are. Hey, everybody. Thanks for watching. If you dug that, we've got more stories around the campfire coming at you in just a couple days. Sit right there. Don't you fucking move. Hi, this is Heather Langenkamp, and you're watching Death Curse Society. Whatever you do, don't fall asleep. The Death Curse Society has just become an associate producer on the film. Yes. Bravo. <laughs> Bravo. I'm Death Curse Society, guys, is so awesome. Um, I met the guys, all three of the guys, at Indianapolis last year for Horror, uh, horror Hack. And I met those dudes, and I gotta tell you, like, I hung out with them, we took pictures, I signed some stuff, they gave me a t-shirt, uh, it was, it was awesome. awesome, they are awesome guys, so, uh, super cool, I am so glad to have them on board this, this campaign, and also on board the film, and now they are gonna be IMDb credited, uh, as producers on this movie. So, I used to like to play a game when I got my hair cut. When I was younger, because I always get like great clips, because I couldn't, didn't really have a whole lot of money and get a nice haircut. Scoop up all the hair and put it in your chest like fake boobs. No, 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 no. It, it, I hate small talk. I cannot stand fucking small talk. But that's what they expect you to do. Right. So if I got a new hair, now usually most times the person who cut my hair last time either quit or wasn't there that day. I have a new you know, hair stylist cutting my hair, so I'd be a different person every time. My name stayed the same. But I'd have like a different story. Like the best one I had was I told like, I let my hair grow out like for like a year. It was fucking you know long. So it took her some time. So I had time to get the story going. I was a bass player in a heavy metal band. Uh, we just got back on the road. I was got back from the road. We did a tour with Metallica. <laughs> oh, she bought a hook line and fucking sinker. It was oh, fun. Really? If that was the case, if you had just gotten off a tour with Metallica and everything, wouldn't you have had the money to go to a better barber? You would think so. But Metallic is cheap, man. They don't pay nothing. Yeah, that's true. They like the merchandise. They, they sell the cheap shit. A fucking opening act always gets ripped off on that thing. Those mother I had to sell tickets just to play, man. Like, I didn't get paid. I had to sell the tickets. That's, that, I got you. I got you. One of those uh, pay-to-play kind of deals. Yeah. We used to pull that scam at the titty bars. <sighs> yeah, we're just in town tonight. <laughs> Good God. What up? It's the Colonel Death Curse Society. If you enjoyed that video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. And I push the numbers on my computer. The computer don't lie. If you don't subscribe and watch more videos, you may be a dead fuck. So be sure to click over here for more videos from Death Curse Society.